my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm just a girl who likes reading romance, fantasy romance, paranormal romance, any type of genre of romance in general. And I also happen to have cerebral palsy, and it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to my channel. Happy Friday! Today's video is going to be my romance journey book tag. This tag was created by Becky from Beckex Reads. Sam from Sam Reads a Little, Caitlin from The Love Librarian, also from Ava Ruben from Bird, Ava's Romance Books, Jess from Honest Fiction, Crystal from P Crystal's Bookish Life, and Kelsey from Kelsey Reads. I'll link their channels down below in the description so you can watch there are book tag videos. Let's get to the questions. Question number one. How old were you when you started reading romance? And what was the first romance book you ever read? Romance specifically book. It's one of those, you know, those books you get at the grocery store. I picked up one, and it wasn't all that great. I don't remember the title, but yeah, I was 15 years old. Question number two. Did you deliberately seek out romance, or did you stumble upon it? And how? Actually, I started reading because of my older sister. She is five years older than me, and I started reading because of the Percy Jackson series. I would always read the book she was reading. She would read Percy Jackson, then she would read Vampire Academy, then Immortal Instruments, and then The Hunger Games, and they all had a romance element to them. So I started reading romance because of my older sister. Question number three. Oh. Oh. oh, and then, wait, and then, like, the first, first true romance book I ever read was years ago. I went on YouTube, and I stumbled upon Jess from Peace Love Books' channel and Lacey from Lacey's Book Lovers, and they were both talking about Mariana Zapata. And so I just got a Kindle then, and I just got Kindle Unlimited. So I, the first like true romance book I ever read was probably Calty by Mariana Zapata. Did you start with traditionally published or indie or has it changed? Uh, back then, I didn't know what was traditionally published and indie published. That wasn't a thing. But as I said, I just... I just read the books that... Jess and Lacey recommended in their videos. I went on a Mariana DePada rabbit hole. So I guess you can say indie. 
was a romance trope you were afraid to try but ended up loving. Problem, I, I don't think I was afraid to try anything or read anything, but Pam, Pam Godwin is intimidating to me and the only book I ever read from Pam Godwin was Steve Ruin. I really liked it, but it was really dark. And I have all her other books I, in audio. I just need to read them. Question num, And I ended up really liking dark romances. Question number five. What was a book you read earlier on your romance journey that you would rate differently today? Oh, I know the answer to that one. The Crossfire series. Back then, I was a newbie to romance. I didn't know anything, and I liked it. But I reread it, the Crossfire series, for a reading vlog, and I hated it. I hated it. It was terrible. Question number six. Has your taste in romances changed over the years? No. It's pretty much stayed the well pretty much stayed the same. I still fantasy romance is still my first love of romance. It's just something about fantasy romance. But then there was a switch to contemporary indie, like Devony Perry, Elsie Silver, those type of books. Um, but it pretty much stayed the same. I love fantasy romance, and I still love the Percy Jackson series. But I would say the books are better than the movies. I still love the Vampire Academy. So it's pretty much stayed the same. My taste. Over the years. Oh, but I also read a lot more dark romances. So that's how, how it changed. Because I... I didn't usually read dark romances. I only started like two years ago, a, a year ago when I discovered um, Sophie Lark and other booktubers. So that's how it changed. Question number seven. What is the most powerful romance that you have read that left a lasting impression uh, a lasting impression on you? There is the Hoop series by Kennedy Ryan, uh, specifically Long Shot. Iris' journey to get away from her uh, abusive husband that was impactful to me. I was a mess after reading Long Shot. So that book sticks in my mind. And also, another book that I wish was more popular, Making Faces by Amy Harmon. There is a character that's in a wheelchair, Bailey, who has... Who has muscular district who has muscular dystrophy and and I have cerebral palsy so it's different but the stuff he says in the book I can relate to like the thing about having a wanting to have a dog but 
he has to have a cat because he can't um take it out for walks or the things he says about being in a wheelchair I can relate to and Bailey will forever be in my heart. So if if you haven't read Making Faces by Amy Harmon, please read it. Um Trigger it is a dark it is a women's fiction but with a heavy romance element. Um Trigger warnings for death, death of a character. But please read Making Faces by Amy Harmon. What was the romance book that told you this is the person I'm looking for in my personal life or in all or partner? I don't really read romance books for that. Because I've never been in a relationship. But I tell you, I really love Ryan Shay from Mile High. He's just a sweetheart hero. He's, he's uh, the grand gestures he does for Indy, I still can't get over what he does for her. And also, Ren Bergman from Chloe Lee's, they are my two favorites, but I wouldn't say, I don't know. This is not the question for me, but if I had to pick characteristics, it would be those two people. Which romance books would you recommend to a romance movie and a, a seasoned romance reader? To a romance newbie, I would say A Court, the court, no, a court of Wings and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. And Calty by Mariana the Potter or any Mariana the Potter book. But if you're gonna read a Mariana the Potter book, I would suggest Luna and the Lie because I really like that one and that's one of her less popular books. For a seasoned romance reader, I would say, um, do they have any re recommendations for me? Or if they have read P Pam Good Pam Godwin, please let me <laughs> please let me know if her books are. I know her books are dark, but I just want to know how far she takes the darkness. Because I've read Sea of Ruin, and that is by far the darkest thing I've ever read. Eyes. What are three perfect romance books? In my eyes, what are three perfect romance books? It would be Calty by Mariana Zapata. Heartless by Elsie Silver and The Right Move by Liz Tom Ford. I know I have mentioned this book at nauseam on my channel, but it is going to be my favorite book of the year. Those are all the questions in the romance journey book tag i'll leave the question down below in the description in case you want to do this tag and i'll leave the other booktubers channel down below in the description as well as for a person i'd like to see do this tag i'd like to see jess from peace love books and lacy from lacy's book lovers do this tag.
bye. I'll see you Monday.